Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to cover the getting started guide for LilyGo T4S3 ESP32 S3 touchscreen display. Okay, now here I have this T4S3 on camera you can see that. Okay, now we want to program it or we want to learn that how you can getting started with it. Okay, so if you want to program uh, in this display something then how you can start using Arduino IDE. So if you have bought this display and if you don't know anything, then this video is for you. Okay, so I am disconnecting uh, this from my system. Okay, and after that, what you have to do is you have to press the boot button here. You can see boot button. So you can press this boot button and I can plug the second end of USB to my system. Okay, and then I can release it. Now, once you release it, you won't see anything on the screen. It will be completely blank okay now as we know that we are going to cover the getting started guide so here i have provided the product link and here i have provided the official github repository link okay and here is the official github repository from lilygo for lilygo emulate series display and esp32 board now we know that we have t4s3 okay so we have to only read the documentation for t4s3 so we are going to the github repository we'll scroll down okay and uh, here you can see yeah so we have to directly go to the section 4 install from Arduino library manager now we are going to follow this process to set up our Arduino software to program our T4S3 now first of all you have to install Arduino which is already installed in my system here you can see then after we have to install ESP32 latest version board so here is the board manager and if you search for ESP32 then I have already installed version 3.1.1 which is latest okay then after you have to go to the library manager and you have to search for Lilygo emulate series library now again I'm going to Arduino and library manager will search for Lilygo emulate series and we are going to install the latest version and here you have to click install all okay don't miss this okay if you click install without dependencies then you won't be able to program your t4s3 display so you have to select install all and it will install all the required library in your system okay here you can see successfully install library now we have to search lvgl library and we have to install version 8.4.0 now here i'm going to search lvgl and here you can see version 9.2.2 is already available but i'm going to remove it okay and we are going to select version 8.4.0 okay 8.4.0 and then install okay that's it and then after you can go to the file menu you can go to the examples and if you scroll down then here you will be able to see lilygo emulator series now you can use any of the examples okay so we have already connected the board with our system now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the getting started example so lilygo emulate series and in the lvgl we have the getting started example so i'm going to select the get start example we are going to minimize the previous arduino id yeah that's it okay after that once you perform all of these steps you have to select few settings in the tools menu so first of all you have to select the board esp32 s3 development module so here i'm going to select esp32 s3 development module connected on my comp 10 then after in the tools menu you have to select usb cdc on boot enable okay cpu frequency 240 megahertz core debug level none usb dfu on boot okay we have to set it disable okay it is all flash before sketch upload disable events run on core one now flash mode is qio 80 megahertz then after flash size 16 mb so we have to select 16 mb here and uh, then after jtec adapter okay nothing mentioned for it arduino runs on core one okay and uh, usb firmware msc on boot it's disable 
partition scheme 16 MB and uh, this one okay 9.9 .9 MB okay then after PS RAM OPI PS RAM and uh, upload mode UART 0 upload speed 921600 and USB mode hardware CDC and JTAG so once you uh, select the settings in the tools menu you can compile the code okay and once you successfully compile the code you can upload this code to your t4 s3 display okay so we have successfully compiled it now we can upload this to our board okay so we have successfully uploaded the getting started sketch to our t4 s3 display now here you can see we have the button now i can click on this button okay just a moment yeah now we can click on this button so once you click on this button the count beside the button will auto increase you can see button one if i click again button two if i click again then button three okay so this is our first lvgl example in the t4 s3 display now in the getting started code you have another two examples available okay so you can comment on this first example and you can uncomment the second example and then you can upload that code okay so when you selected this one it will run this example okay if you have selected the getting started second example it will run this one if you have selected the third one then it will run the this one okay now we have selected the second one so it is going to be run the second c example okay now here you can see we have two button on the screen the first button and the second button okay counter is not going to up on these buttons but it is just the static buttons here okay now we can try to upload the third uh, example okay we just press ctrl u to upload it okay here is the third example this is like a uh, scroll okay so once you scroll you will have update on the values here you can see 82 now 41 100 okay so this is the third example in the getting started now you can also try some other examples here so if you go to the examples and lily go emulator series and if you want to adjust the brightness of this uh t4s3 board then you can select the adjust brightness example okay uh, i guess everything is selected here so what we can do is we can directly hit the upload button now the uh, adjust brightness example will be the similar ui example but when you uh, adjust this uh, scroll okay the brightness will be adjusted accordingly okay so this is the adjust brightness example now if you want to increase the brightness then you can uh, scroll like this to set the 255 brightness okay and if you decrease then brightness will decrease accordingly okay so zero brightness okay middle and the full brightness so this is how you can uh, use this Lilygo T4 S3 display to upload the LVGL example using Arduino. In the future videos, we'll cover that how you can create your LVGL GUI using Square Lens Studio. And after that, how you can upload your project into T4 S3 display. Okay. So I hope whatever we have covered in this video is clear to you that how you can getting started with Lilygo 
T4S3 display. Okay, so first of all, you have to uh, install the libraries, okay, which require Lilico AMOLED series library and the LVGA library. You can go for the latest version for Lilico AMOLED series library and you have to install the version 8.4.0 for LVGA library. And then after you can use any example, uh, okay, and you can upload that example in the Lilico T4S3 display by setting the uh, options in the tools menu now if you have any question or any doubt in this then you can ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere otherwise we are going to meet you in the future videos and in the future i'm going to cover that how you can getting started with lilico t4s3 with arduino ide and lvgl using square line studio so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you